Let's get ready to rumble! Hello there, Fight Night Champion fans. I hope you like that little Michael Buffer intro. This is me, uh, Pimby66, against... Uh, well, it's, uh, that's me, I'm not glass, but I, it doesn't look anything like me, actually. That's Sugar Ray Leonard. In case you don't know, that's uh, Sugar Ray Robinson. The fight who I rate is the best ever. I mean, Muhammad Ali was the most charismatic, you know, and he was, he was, you know, number one heavyweight probably of all time. But this guy, pound for pound, a lot of boxers say was the best. Well, let's see if he's the, the best over me in this fight. It's going to be like a chess match, this. Wasting punches there. Anyway, I'm going to concentrate on me fighting here because he's, he's going to be hard to beat this guy. And uh, I'm going to shut up. Anyway, enjoy the fight and uh, if there's any notable moments, so I might come back on the mic. I might not. Enjoy. Keep your feet moving! 
trying to lean in one direction early on here because he's coming off the ground where he really scored well upstairs. And Teddy, he was doing it from the outside. What does his opponent have to do? Well, he's doing it on the outside, not just because he's taller and he's a little longer, but he's anticipation. He's taking a step back and he's keeping that pace. What his opponent has to do is take advantage of that, fade him a little bit. Make him make a move preliminary a little too soon. When he thinks the punch is coming back, he steps back too soon. Then he will fight him.
into an argument with someone, you want to have the last word. Whoever throws the last punch, you know, one guy throws three, you come back with four. Whoever's the last one to throw, he's going to win. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here, and we're back underway. Very accurate two-punch combo by Sugar Ray White. Leonard's got to figure out a way to do something different here. I mean, I know he's committed to being a counterpuncher, but right now he's giving rounds away. Yeah, he is because he's waiting for things to happen that are not happening. You know, he's he's laying back, he's waiting for the guy to walk in. See, to be a good counterpuncher, an effective counterpuncher, the guy has to come close to you. But his opponent's staying at a distance. He's not giving him anything to counter. Keep moving. Keep moving. change unless he gets a little cocky here but starts looking for maybe one shot instead of putting it together the way he thought maybe it allows his opponent to have a little bit of hope a little ray of hope get back in the fight how about that exchange not able to land the uppercut leonard throwing wide punches if i'm standing opposite of that i jump on it. yeah well if you're the fighter that's where you have to be kind of like into a kodak moment where you take a picture and you say, okay, remember that, and the next time, bang, I'm going to take advantage. Lands the left after setting it up with a jab. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Ten 
seconds of the sixth round. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision. I just have that kind of feel. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you just eat all the pots that you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Keep working, the jab. Good, good. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Well, as you can see, this is the end of the seventh round. He's winning on points and he's just knocked me down. So it's going to take something pretty special to turn this around. I don't know if I can do this. But uh, let's just see how he handles, you know, how he behaves. If he can still behave himself. Because it, it, some guys get really cocky when they know they're winning. Let's see what this guy does. I'm going to take you through commentary to the end of this fight now because uh, talking th through a fight while I'm actually fighting you know, is no mean feat for me anyway. I'm continually trying to probe and get, get in. One thing you find in this game, if you can catch somebody on a regular basis but it's doing no harm, in the later rounds, it, believe me, it does do harm. I think I demonstrated that in my um, fight I had recently that I posted. Um, what's it called? Roberto Duran against Manny Pacquiao. I was I was Duran, and uh, eventually wore Pacquiao down after being not looked like I was sparked out in the second round. This guy's beating me. He's with head on points. He's scored the knockdown. Right at the moment, I'm just playing for pride. See, look, I'm, all these punches I'm throwing, and I can't get near him. Okay, see. I think the best punch I can get him with here is the uppercut. In fact, I'm pretty sure I, I want to catch him with an uppercut. 
He's getting moves left, right all the time, left, right. And his timing is pretty spot on. That's uh, the end of the eighth round. At least he didn't knock me down again. But he's still doing enough to win the fight. It's eight rounds, eight rounds in. And he's you now winning the fight. I used to think a lot of guys didn't press the square button on the PlayStation 3, you know, to start the round off. Because they want to look at that sexy pixelated woman. But they don't, they do it to, to get to you, especially when they're winning. You know, make you wait. Anyway, see how this pans out. Here comes my window cleaner. I have to disguise the fact that I'm talking here because I'm going to look alright, cunt. Sorry. I'm going to look very strange, I mean. Oh, he's gone. My windows are that dirty, so I thought, nah, fuck it. to go out and investigate that when this fight's over. Things that bloody happen while, you, while you're doing a commentary and you're trying to fight. You just can't, you just can't script it, can you? You, you can't. Anyway, shut up. It's to get to him here a little bit, I think. Like I always say, if you can catch somebody, it doesn't look, appear to be doing any damage. See, I've got him a good counter off a cut there. Later on in the fight, if you can last that long, those punches start to tell. It works both ways, though, unfortunately. <laughs> I hate that one, but the arms get caught together like that. Is this round nine? Come on, Sugar Ray Leonard, come on. Very good tactical battle this, but as I say, I'm, I think I'm losing this fight because of the knockdown and how well he's fought during the rest of the fight. But I'm starting to. What's he doing there? You dirty bastard. He knows he's winning, so he headbutts me. <laughs> That's the lottery of fighting online on Fight Night Champion. You always get tossed like that. He's, what, what's he playing at? Some people, when they know they're winning at this, they'll, they'll start, you know, taunting you or headbutting you, hitting you in the bollocks. No. He's got a window cleaner, he's doing his new line. He's doing something at the side of the, the window anyway. So I put my hand over my mouth so he can't see I'm talking. How fucking embarrassing is this? <laughs> Things I do to put post videos on YouTube. Jesus. I think why the fuck do I bother? <laughs> I'm primarily on YouTube because I, I post my music on the other channel. So this MB66 channel is just my PlayStation ID. And uh, I love to record a, a game and watch it again. So post it if it looks if it looks good to me, more often than not other people like to watch it as well. You know? This is the last round anyway, I'm going to really go into, I've got to do something special here to win this. If he's winning this on, on, fight, on, on points, and jabbing into thin air won't hurt you. you got this one, yeah, and he knows he has. Go on, you bastard! Oh, here we are. Headbutt, headbutt. Oh, you sad bastard. Oh, God. Can I, can I turn this around? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe this. I've got to, I've got to finish him off now. He's a golf anymore now. I've got him! 
got him again. I can't believe that. A little left hook up, up this time. That's what you get for headbutting me, you tosser. I can't believe he tried that. He was, he's a good fighter. He's a very skillful guy. Why spoil it by fouling like that? And I might just have done enough here. Yeah, he's trying for the big punches because he knows he's he knows he's fucked up. And he finishes by hugging me. What the bleeding you know? hell? What's he hugging me for? Please don't uppercut me again. I'm sorry if headbutt on you, maybe that was why. Let's see. If he's won this still, I'm gonna be very disappointed, but at least I've Looking brilliant. Oh, I got the decision. I bet he's well sick. Maybe his headbutt's carried against him, I don't know. Anyway, I hope he enjoyed that. This is Pembe 66 signing off.